What do you suggest? A fighting competition, of course. Ah, never tried it myself. I should warn you, though, I've battled wits with great philosophers. Stop boasting and prove yourself. <clears throat> my day began the strangest way. An axe thrown at my head, tending to slay. There stood Eivor, hot-headed and brash. To see us now, you'd not believe our clash. <sighs> it took an ambush or two, and one dusty old temple, for Eivor to see that I could be helpful. But somehow I've melted his cold Norse heart. It'll sadden me to see my new friend part. <laughs> Eivor did the heavy lifting, left the tracking job to I. In the end, we triumphed, chasing the nightmares far from sky. And to the bride and groom on this historic day, If your love survived this, nothing stands in your way. <laughs> hey. oh, that was wonderful. You've really made this a night to remember. It's been a while since I've been the center of attention. How did it feel? <laughs> Strangely familiar. I'm glad you invited me here tonight. It was nothing. No, really. Thank you. I needed this. More than I knew. That bright day, and get rid of that asshole. Don't you mean that, Malaka? <laughs> Indeed. We actually saved it twice. All in a day's work. Eat it! Did you come for the wedding? I couldn't miss it. My cousin is the bride. And of course, I should thank you. <sighs> Clearly, you were able to help my people. Otherwise, we wouldn't be here celebrating. <laughs> I can't take all the credit. I had some help. True. That was she right, by the way. Did you part ways with that girl? Randvi, as she foresaw? <laughs> no. Randvi was never on the Isle of Sky. Ah, well, even Valkar makes mistakes. Still, it's good you didn't need to say goodbye to a friend. Uh. 
What an unforgettable night. <laughs> <laughs> 